Oh boy, it is not looking pretty right now for the stock market, guys. Check it out. It's about 11.30 a.m. on this beautiful morning. Well, I guess not too beautiful for the stock market, but we have the Russell down. Get ready for this, guys. 1.7%. NASDAQ's down 1.8%. The S&P's down over 1%. And the Dow's not too bad. I mean, it's still down half of a percent, but the VIX, guys, oh man, I think earlier in the day it was up over 20%, and now it's up around 15%. So you guessed it. We're going to break down the charts in this video, where I see the stock market going, the indexes, and we'll go over some stocks later in the video. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks from Moomoo. It's free money with at least a $100 deposit, which then you can take that money out and keep all your free stocks. And your uninvested cash for now will earn up to 8.1%. APY. Just check out the link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo and let's dive right into the video. Cheers, by the way, guys. I got, well, not much coffee left, but I got some coffee left here. I'll save it for after the video because I'm going to need it for sure with how things are looking today. But check it out. The S&P looking here at SPY pretty much dove off of a cliff at open. We opened up at 573 and we got all the way down to 566 as of about 15 minutes ago, 10, 15 minutes ago, which that was a drop of around 1.3% just from open. And guys, we're only two hours into the session here. And we were actually consolidating all pre-market today. I'm pretty sure across all of these indexes, the S&P, the NASDAQ, right? And we got some data this morning, which I do want to cover in this video as well. But look, Triple Q opened up at about 487 and we got all the way down to 477, 2.1% drop right there. And on the Dow Jones, where did this open up at? It's not doing too bad. Actually, we're seeing a sharp recovery right now. Talk about a V-shaped recovery there on the Dow, but it opened up at 42.2, got down to about 41,950. So about a 0.7% drop, not a big deal there for the Dow. And the Russell got hit to about 2186 after opening at, let's see here, 22.25. So 1.6% of a drop there for the Russell. And if you pull the layers back a little bit, folks, this does not look too bad, right? This is a healthy pullback. You guys notice it on the Russell, although I do want the Russell ultimately to break out of 2250, 2300. That would be ideal, but the Russell is coming down to the moving averages here. It looks like Triple Q is also pulling down. Clearly, we're breaking under the 50 SMA here on the four hour time frame. And now we're getting awfully close to the 180 SMA, which is a big spot of support here on Triple Q that's going to need to hold in the short term for the Bulls. And you're noticing the same thing here on SPY, right? SPY hit 575 a couple of days ago, which is an all time high. We were holding the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA, for that matter, all of, uh, you know, September. By the way, happy October. It's the 1st of October today. And now it looks like we're pulling down very similar to what we saw in Triple Q down to this 180 moving average, which in my humble opinion, guys, I think it's going to hold. I think that will hold as support, no doubt about it, right? But you never know. You never really know when it comes to the stock market. So in in uh, layman's terms, guys, this is a simple, healthy pullback. Nothing too crazy right now going on. And it's kind of funny how the VIX is up as much as it is. I'm not, uh, I wasn't expecting it to go up this much today. But hey, you know, it's up a good chunk. Earlier, we cracked over 20 points on the VIX. I think it was up around 24% at the high today. Holy smoke. So big pop there in the VIX. It looks like the metals are moving up. We have gold up 1%. Silver's up over 1.4%. So metals are seeing a pop right now. VIX is seeing a pop. Uh, you know, it's, it's that time, guys. We're getting closer and closer to the election under 40 days away. 
There's uncertainty right now in the markets. And, you know, after we saw a pretty good September, which historically September is a rough market or rough month for the market. Maybe now in October, we're going to get the rough, uh, you know, rough month, right? Leading into this election. So, you know, it's not always guaranteed like, oh, September is the worst month or one of the worst months. So it has to be the worst month every year. Not necessarily. Um, so who knows? Maybe September was decent. Maybe now October we're due for a bit of a sell-off. And it's funny, 1st of October, fresh month, and here we are. We're getting a dump overall in the stock market. VIX up 14%. And this comes the day after Jerome Powell spoke in Washington, or not Washington, Na Nashville. Why the heck did I say Washington? Uh, but yeah, he spoke about, you know, interest rates, what he's looking to do there. The Fed doesn't have a preset course of what they want to do. They're data dependent. You know, they're not going to be as aggressive in the cuts moving forward here, like we just saw with their 50 basis point cut. You know, we got a lot of information there, but again, a lot of the same crap that Powell's been saying. And Take a look at this. We got some data this morning. Like I mentioned in my video, I believe on Sunday, this week is big for data, guys. And by the way, hit the like button. I appreciate you all for tuning in here. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube as well, guys. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. We're so close. I can taste it, guys. Make sure to subscribe. So we got the ISM manufacturing PMI today. That came in at 47.2 compared to the 47.6 forecast. And it looks like last month um, it came in at 47.2, so pretty much right in line with where uh, the ISM manufacturing PMI was last month. And why do traders care? Well, it's a leading indicator of economic health. Businesses react quickly to market conditions, and their purchasing managers hold perhaps the most current and relevant insight into the uh, company's view of the economy. And essentially what this shows, guys, is a level of diffu uh, diffusion index based on surveyed purchasing managers in the manufacturing industry. So again, right in line with where it was last month. And look, the JOLT jobs opening. This came in a lot higher than where it was last month, and it beat the forecast by... Looks like around a couple hundred thousand here. Um, and this essentially shows the number of job openings during the reported month. It's a lagging indicator. Uh, it's it's about 30, uh, 30 days uh, behind here, 35 days, but still worth looking at. We did get, uh, you know, more job openings than expected here, over 8 million. Again, the forecast was 7.64 million. So maybe a bright sign there. Pretty decent news there, uh, but overall, guys, we all know the job market is not what it was two, three years ago. Unemployment rate, it's slowly going up. You guys probably know some people in your own lives uh, that maybe got laid off. Maybe they're having trouble finding a new job, so it's an interesting time right now. We all know about that. And on Thursday, uh, we're getting the unemployment claims, which that's projected at 221,000. Last week, it was 218,000. So that's creeping up a bit there week over week, at least it's projected to. And then on Friday, we talked about this. We're getting the non-farm employment change. That's going to be huge. Uh, forecasted at 144,000 versus the 142 from last go around. And the unemployment rate, which... It's been creeping up, guys. It's expected to be at 4.2%, which is where it was last time that number came out. And you can see here, if I zoom in a little bit, we hit 3.9 in May, 4 in June, 4.1 in July, August was 4.3, September 4.2, and obviously that's for the previous month. Um, and now we're about to get the data for September, which it's projected at 4.2. But if that comes in any, any, anything higher, you know, markets are not going to like that. Right. So that's kind of what we're noticing right now across the board guys. And pretty much any stock you can think of, um, is selling off. Funny enough, the Chinese stocks are still holding strong. JD Alibaba, those are up LVS, um, has exposure to China. 
that's up right now. But a lot of the big tech names are not doing well. Apple's down 3%, you know. AAPL is the ticker, uh, down 3.2%, $225 is where it's at. Tesla is down 3.5% right now, uh, pulling back, which it's a much-needed pullback, much-needed pullback here on Tesla. Uh, We have NVIDIA, which I'll make a video on later tonight. NVIDIA is down over 3% on the day, Adobe, AMD, some of the biggest companies out there, Microsoft's down 2%. So yeah, not the best looking day. And guys, that's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes in the market. So what are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments and check out the Patreon. I actually just bought stock today. Uh, So check it out. I'm posting my weekly updates to my Patreon portfolio there. I post charts and ideas throughout the week. And there's a Discord. You get more access to me there on Patreon. Check it out. Link down below if you guys are interested. Or go to StossRFest.com slash Patreon. And I just bit my freaking tongue on the video. Guys, what's going on here? But yeah, cheers. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.